In this electric circuit, we have two uh, power supply, two batteries, and two lamps connected in series. And my point here, which is to check how much is the reading of the DC, or the is the electric current is ampere, and I, which is 0 0.15 ampere, what does it mean? The point is, what's meant by ampere, or the electric current, uh, I equals Q over T. It means I'm checking the amount of charges passing through the wire, whatever from the conventional current from positive terminal to the negative terminal, or um, which is the same value, by the way, for whatever from the negative terminal to the positive terminal. It just uh, it's an amount here. Uh, the amount, I would say this is the definition of the electric current, is the amount of charges passing through the wire in unit time. And in this case, I will get, which is uh, for Mark, I get the concept, which is 0 0.50 ampere. As I mentioned earlier, it doesn't matter the position of the meter, whatever the meter connected close to this battery or uh, connected at the other side. Once we have a complete path, which is a series connection, and series in physics, it means end to end. So it means from this, uh, the let me say, the second side or the other side of the lamp to the first end, and then from the other end of the lamp to the emitter, and from the positive here to the positive, and the reading of the emitter, which is 0 0.15 ampere, once we are in complete path, the number of charges passing through the electric wire or the electric circuit per unit time, which is always constant here, 0 0.5 ampere. Now the reading is slightly higher because the electric current here, which is 0 0.19 ampere. What does it mean? If the electric current increases, the, it means the amount of charges passing through the electric circuit increases as well, and the brightness of the lamp slightly higher because I already add here one more battery. So one more battery, it means high voltage, and as a result, we have high current, which is 0 0.19 or 0 0.20 approximately ampere. So there is a direct uh, proportional between voltage and the electric current and from that point from this point we might go for another equation but this one we can discuss in the next videos